Emma Holm, SP Women's Soccer. Emma, the team's off to a 4-0 start. Fantastic with a couple of Rhodes wins last week. Your thoughts on the great start? Yeah, it's awesome to be 4-0. Um, we worked really hard for that. We kind of split up our season into just looking at non-conference games and how important those were. So we're happy to kind of end it on top. You sealed that uh, non-conference record with a 3-2 thrilling overtime win. Laura Moore got the game winner. Uh, first off, uh, what do you recall about Laura's uh, game winning shot? <laughs> Laura was on fire the entire game, so I kind of saw it coming one way or another. Um, we had a lot of open chances in the second overtime, well, the whole overtime, but um, just nothing was really going our way. The ref wasn't really going our way either, so it was a lot of frustration, but it was awesome when Laura got that. I think we were all just so relieved, and we knew it was coming. That was her second goal of the game, and she was the GNAC Player of the Week for it. Now that was the first game you actually uh, gave up a goal and also the first game you trailed. What do you think that said about your team, kind of resilience of your team? Um, yeah, the goals were kind of soft to begin with. I mean, a corner kick was unfortunate and then a PK crazy call. But I think even when we did go down a goal, we were calm and we knew, like, okay, we got this. Like, we'll just stick it to them because we knew we could beat that team. Well, now you start uh, conference play this week uh, at home against Simon Fraser. Uh, your thoughts on getting going against league opponents? Um, yeah, we're really excited, especially to start off at home at Inner Bay. And um, we don't know too much about Simon Fraser's team this year, but we're excited to learn and get to them. They are the only other undefeated team in the league, so it should be a good clash. Uh, your Falcons won the GNAC tournament title the last two years, uh, but haven't won the regular season crown since you've been here. Um, your thoughts on what, is that one of your goals? Yeah, it definitely. I think in the past we've kind of waited till the last minute to get through and it's always been nerve wracking, but this year especially, especially with our start so good, I think we really want to keep it going, stay undefeated as long as possible and end in a good place before the tournament even starts. You've started all four games this year. Uh, last year you uh, only played three uh, due to an injury. How frustrating was that for you last year? Yeah, it was pretty frustrating. I mean, my injuries weren't big ACL tears or season ending all in one, but it was kind of just one and then as soon as I got back from that, the other one happened. So it was pretty frustrating, but um, I definitely got a different perspective from the bench and it's very nerve wracking no matter where you are. <laughs> And how do you feel this year? I'm excited. I'm hoping for no more injuries. I'm excited to play. It's really nice to be back out here. And I haven't played a lot of these girls from in our conference in a while, so I can't wait to get back out there. Well, when coaches and teammates talk about you, they mention kind of your, uh, your knowledge of the game, your feel for the game. You just seem to always make the right play. Is that accurate? And, and how would you describe your game? <laughs> I don't know. I just try to play pretty simple and be very consistent and I don't know about knowledge I think we're all pretty smart out here but yeah I just try to make kind of simple decisions that'll keep the ball moving for us. And now uh, what will be the key for your team uh, in their pursuit of a GNAC championship? What's going to have to have to happen? Um, I mean we have all the talent in the world it's probably just going to be mentality staying focused on our goals and just yeah like Get some goals on the board, <laughs> finally. Great. Well, thank you very much, and good luck Saturday against Simon Frazier. Thank you.